Hey everyone, it's Katie. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a collaboration with Pam on Sunset and we're going to be showing you some foam DIYs. So I'm doing a DIY pop socket. So we're actually going to make the pop socket from scratch and then I'll show you some ways that you can decorate it as well. These are really cool little gadgets. You can basically stick them on the back of your phone or your phone case and it gives you something to hold on to when you're taking pictures or selfies or you can prop it up and watch a video on it and you can also hold it over your head in bed and it won't fall on your face because I know that happens to me like once a day so that's pretty cool. Pam is doing DIY phone cases and what she does on her channel is she tests out uh, DIYs from around the internet and gives you the real girl's guide to DIYing so she'll show you how it worked for her and what tips she has to actually do it yourself. Today's YouTube inspiration comes from Lore DIY. I know I just did her like a month ago but then she made the phone case and I wanted the glittery and you just gotta like glitz it up a little bit. So I'm doing the glitter ones because I love glitter. Ooh. So make sure you go check out her channel. I will link it down below and let's get started. For each pop socket, you will need two suction cups with no hooks. I got a pack of 10 of these on Amazon for about $6. I'll link them down below. You'll also need some E6000 glue or some other Stronghold glue and just take the nozzle of it and push it into the indentation of the suction cup and fill that entire area with the glue. Do this on both of your suction cups. Next, you're going to need a sewing needle, the kind with a little ball on the end. And what you're going to do is push that through the bottom of one of the suction cups. Make sure that you're centering it as best as you can and push it through the glue to the other side. The glue is going to keep everything in place. Now take your other suction cup and do the same exact thing but reverse. So you're going to push the needle through the top of the suction cup this time. And now your two suction cups will be stuck together. Wait for the glue to set fully and then you're going to need a hot glue gun and you're going to fill one of the ends of the suction cups completely with hot glue. So wait for it to all sort of melt together to make a nice smooth surface. Now you can let that dry fully, and once it's dry, you can flip it over and take some painter's tape and cover the entire bottom of the other side of the suction cup. So the reason you're going to do this is because you're going to spray paint them in the next step. I decided to spray paint them all white side of blank canvas, so I just cut away the excess tape, and then I took them outside and spray painted them all completely white and waited for it to dry. To make a marble design, I filled a container with white paint and added a couple drops of water. I also added some gold paint to a jar with a couple of drops of water, and then I took my paintbrush and splattered it into the white paint. Next, I took a little skewer, you can use a toothpick, and just swirl the gold paint into the white. Then take the top of your pop socket, the part that's not taped, and just swirl it into the paint. And you get this really pretty marble design, let it dry completely, and that's it. I still love watercolor, so I had to do a watercolor design, and I just added different colors all over the top, and it looked really pretty. Now to actually use these, you're going to just peel the painter's tape off and stick the suction cup to the back of your phone firmly. Definitely test it based on what type of phone you have and what type of case you're using, but mine stayed really well. It didn't move around at all, but you definitely want to test it out to make sure that it's going to work for you. The last option is by far the easiest, so you'll just need a sticky stencil of some sort. Stick it to the top of your pop socket and push it down on all the sides. And then just take some paint on a little sponge brush and start sponging the paint all over the stencil. And don't wait for it to dry, just peel the stencil off immediately and you'll have this really pretty design underneath. Let it dry and you're ready to use it. enjoyed this and let me know in the comments below which one of those was your favorite. Thank you so much to Pam on Sunset for doing this collab with me. I will link her channel down below like I said. She's going to be doing DIY phone cases so go check that out and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already if you like DIY style videos because that's what I do here and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!